Okay, we're still talking about tangent lines, and we're going to look at a few more examples of finding a line that is tangent to a curve. And here's our first example. h of x is x to the negative 3, and we're told to find the line tangent to h at x equals negative 2. So let's find the point. Okay, h of x is 1 over x cubed, and so h of negative 2 is 1 over negative 2 cubed, which is just negative 1 over 8. So that's our point. That gives us our point. The point, the x value is negative 2, and the y value is negative 1 eighth. Now let's find the slope. We need to find the derivative, and the derivative of x to the negative 3 is going to be negative 3 x to the negative 4, which could be written like this, negative 3 over x to the fourth. And so the, the value of the derivative at x equals negative 2, h primed of negative 2, is going to be negative 3 over negative 2 to the fourth, which is 16. So that's our slope, negative 3 sixteenths. So we have a point and a slope. So we can use the point-slope form of an equation for a line. I can say y minus y1, so that's y minus negative 1 eighth, is equal to the slope, that's negative 3 sixteenths, times x minus x1. And so I put in the negative 2 right here. Now on the left side over here, this is y plus 1 eighth equals, and if I distribute here, I get negative 3 sixteenths x. And these two negatives and this negative that I'm distributing all together give me another negative. And it's negative 3 eighths. OK, and then let's just add uh, or subtract 1 eighth from each side. And we get y equals negative 3 sixteenths x minus 1 half. And let's check this on the calculator. Here's the calculator. Turn it on here. And uh, let's type in y equals x to the power of, and I'll use parentheses here, negative 3. So that's our function. And if we graph it, we get this. And we're trying to find the line tangent to this graph at x equals negative 2. So I'll hit draw, which is second on the program key and option 5 is tangent, draw tangent, and type in negative 2, and hit enter, and it draws the tangent line and tells us the equation, and we're hoping it's negative 3 sixteenths x minus a half, and the negative 0.1875, that's approxim an approximation there, so we have a bunch of other decimal places, but it's negative 0.1875 x plus negative 1 half, so that matches what we got doing the calculus. Here's another example. At what point does the graph of y equals x squared plus 4x minus 1 have a horizontal tangent? Okay, let's take the derivative of this function. We're dealing, we want to deal with a, a tangent line and we need to deal with the slope of that. So let's take the derivative of this function. That's pretty easy. y primed is going to be 2x plus 4. And if we want the, the tangent line to be horizontal, Horizontal means it has a slope of 0. So the slope has to be 0. This thing right here has to be 0. So I'm just going to say 2x plus 4 equals 0. And I'll solve this for x. So 2 times, I'll just say 2x equals negative 4. So x equals negative 2. So that's our point careful, that's actually just the x value we're told at what point. So we know at x equals 2, but if we want to actually find the point, then I'll realize at x equals negative 2, y is going to be negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 1. I just plugged a negative 2 into my equation for y. And so you do that calculation and you get 4 minus 8 minus 1 and that equals negative 5. So the point on the curve is the point negative 2, negative 5. 
So if you want to find the point on the curve, it's that answer. If you just want to find the x value, it's negative 2. Okay, one more example. In the real world, you don't often have numbers that actually work out to nice round numbers like they often do in math class. In fact, it's been said, I forget who said this, it was a famous mathematician said, there are two types of numbers in the world, real numbers and fake numbers. And the real numbers are the kind of numbers you run into in the real world if you're actually trying to design a circuit for a cell phone or design an airplane wing or something like that. And, and you're just down doing actual measurements in the real world and you get numbers that look something like this. As opposed to the numbers you run into in math class, which always work out to two or negative five or just some nice round, round number. And he called those fake numbers. So these are real numbers here in that sense of the word real. We have y equals 1.352x squared minus 2.618x. So this is a parabola, and we want to find the line tangent to the graph at x equals 1.787. And all of these numbers are given to three decimal places, so I'll give my, um, my answer to three decimal places. And the, the line tangent to the graph, I'll write that in y equals mx plus b form, just because that's the most common and most convenient form. So first we need to find the y value, find our point, find the y value when x equals this. So let's plug that value for x right there in for x in the equation. So y of 1.787. That's going to be 1.352 times 1.787 squared minus 2.618 times 1.787. And you can punch that in on the calculator and it comes out to negative 0.361, but that's a lot of typing. So you need to check your work carefully, make sure you just don't accidentally hit the wrong key. Now let's find the derivative, y primed. Well, use the power rule on the first term. It'll be 2 times 1.352x. And over here, the derivative of this is simply minus 2.618. And let's uh, multiply this out. This gives us 2.704x minus 2.618. That's our derivative function. And we want to find the value of the derivative, which will be the slope of the graph at this x value. So y primed of 1.787, you just put in 1.787 for x right there. So it's 2.704 times 1.787 minus 2.618. And that comes out to 2.214. So we have a point, and that point is an x value of 1.787 and the y value that we found over here, negative 0.361. And we have a slope, and the slope is 2.214. That was the slope we found for that particular x value. And so I'll say y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. And put in the numbers. y minus negative 0.361, which will make it a y plus 0.361 equals the slope, which is 2.214 times x minus x1, and the x value is 1.787. So let's work this out. We get y plus 0.361 is 2.214x, and then when we distribute, we get a negative 3.956. And then we'll just subtract the 0.361 from each side, and I get y equals 2.214x minus 4.317. And let's uh, check that on the calculator. Here's the function y equals 1.352x squared minus 2.618x. We graph it. We get a line there. And if we hit second draw and draw tangent line and put in the x value of 1.787 and hit enter, hopefully we'll get the same thing. So there's the tangent line, and it's giving us y equals 2.214 approximately x plus negative 4.317. So we're good. 
So that's a basic introduction to tangent lines. And after we do some more techniques of differentiation, we'll come back and do some more work with tangent lines of different types of functions.